How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria tutorial. In this episode we're going to be looking at how to farm the giant tortoises. And not that they're that hard to kill, but if you're looking for turtle shells, you're going to need to hunt a lot of these beasts. And wouldn't it be nice if you could just sit there AFK and get tons of giant turtle shells. I think they're just called turtle shells. Oh, I'm under attack now. And you can also get a whole heap of other loot too. So stay watching, and I'm going to show you how to farm these little beasts. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Ooh, there's a giant tortoise just dying then. So this is the AFK farm in operation. And I really like it. I feel like it's like a little Aztec temple in the middle of the jungle. Anyway, <laughs> um, basically what I played around with was taking advantage of the jungle mob's AI. Which is pretty much, uh, when they attack you, they're just trying to jump on top of you. Uh, the derplings and the giant tortoise. So by standing inside this little temple here, they pretty much just jump into the lava pit. I chucked a few spiky balls, but you don't really need many. Uh, just to increase the damage. And I've put two spear traps there, and you're probably thinking, just two, what are you doing? Um, the reason is, and when I was testing this trap, and we'll have a quick look at the loot chest... When it was raining, I noticed a little a little cloud came over and it dropped a little present. Um, so this technically spawns uh, Nimbus uh, clouds as well. So that was kind of cool. Oops! Whoa, my gosh! There's derplings everywhere. Ah, the farm's going crazy! <laughs> oh my god! That was like a surge of mobs all of a sudden. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the loot chest. So, jungle key molds, obviously in jungle. Plenty of turtle shells, so if you're playing multiplayer, you're going to love this farm. Couple of banners, archaeologist hat, if you want to be Indiana Jones. Uh, they drop at night from a zombie, can't remember what it's called. Uh, adhesive bandage, if it's a full moon. Uh, the Uzi is actually dropped by the angry uh, clinger things on the sides that the dart traps are killing. And yeah, and I just wanted to also show you quickly what you actually make with the turtle shells. So the first thing is the turtle armor. Uh, it's really high defense stuff, as you can see, 27, 21, 17. Uh, gives you melee damage and uh, crit strike bonuses. And then it's actually a material, the turtle armor, and you can use it to upgrade to the beetle set. And I'll just hover over everything if you want to have a quick look. There's two types of chest plate you can make. Uh, one has higher defense, the other one has higher damage buffs. So uh, yeah, so there, we've had a quick look at that. I'll chuck the wiring up. Uh, really, really simple guys. Just actuated a few traps and they're just on a one and a five second timer. Reason I've got the five second timer on the spears and the spiky balls uh, if the spears hit the turtle, the tortoise, it can actually turn it around and send it away from the trap. So I want to try and avoid that if we can. Alright, let's put the map out and go have a look around. So basically guys, all I did was just level out a bit of jungle ground and uh, yeah, just put some more trees in. Nothing too fancy. Going over this side, same sort of deal, just sort of evened it out so mobs can spawn nice and easily. Um, some of you have asked for dimensions, uh, so what I'll do is, after I've finished editing this video, I'll add some annotations in for you, and I'll show you exactly how high you need this trap, and, ooh, I should mention that, sorry, oh my gosh, it's a derpling barrage again, ah, derplings everywhere! Um, the reason you have to be higher up in your little safe box here is because the clingers, if you're only on ground level, their heads will actually go under the ground for some reason. And it's only if you're at this height, which is about seven, eight blocks off the ground, the clingers will just line up with the super dart traps there. I don't know why that happens. Like, it doesn't really make sense to me, but that's, it is, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. All right. That's pretty much it. It's, it's a pretty simple design, but it's very effective. And if you're looking to get some giant turtle shells, then you can't go wrong making this. Alright, quick shout outs guys, quick shout outs. Melba wants me to say, I'm so fancy, you already know. Terrace Official wanted me to say, I wonder if there's a terrarium planet in the universe, what would it look like? No one knows. Anonymous Guy and Scott Green have actually 
asked me to say the world's most difficult tongue twister. I looked it up on Google, and scientists and linguists have said this is the most toughest thing to say. And it's pad kid poured curd pulled cold. <laughs> pulled cold. Pad kid poured curd pulled cold. Oh my god, doesn't that make sense? Uh, no car groning asked me to say, and this is Danish apparently, grod, <laughs> rod grod mischflun, which is red porridge with cream. Rod pod, rod grod mischflun. That's kind of cool. I like Danish. That's nice. Uh, Pim, Hels, Hel, <laughs> Pim Hazeveld has asked me to say, how much wood could a woodchuck, if a wood, <laughs> woodchuck, woodchuck Norris, why are you guys all giving me tongue twisters? Oh my God. Uh, Jaden Ray, something different. Here's a tongue twister has asked me to say, See, she sells seashells by the seashore. And Andreas Memekin to finish up today's shout outs. It's something normal. I like to eat little skeletrons. What a way to finish, guys. Leave a like if you've actually stayed through all those tongue twisters and shout outs. I hope you have. I'm having a great time doing that. Um, thanks for all the comments. Some of our videos are getting like an insane amount of comments, and I'm enjoying chatting to you. Quick, quick thing, uh, can I ask you guys, if you are asking me a question, can you give me a bit info, bit more info than just how high is it, thanks. Um, so let me know what console you're playing on, PC, console, mobile, and yeah, the more info you can give me, the better, easier it is and the quicker it is for me to help you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, join us, we're almost, we're on the road to 5,000, massive giveaway coming up, I'm going to merge the two and five together. Ultimate World's being released in a couple of days. Uh, all these awesome AFK farms will be in it. And I think I've finished telling you my life story now, so I'm going to say the most important part, guys. Stay happy, and I'll see you next time. Have a day signing out. Mm -hmm.